let's go. No, 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 that, cause I know that was not just Jojo Seal right there. Idol to millions of kids? Like, really? Jojo Siwa, like the Jojo Siwa that millions of kids around the globe are obsessed with? Six years ago, I was in elementary school. I had my pink cat headphones on, and I was listening to I'ma come back like a boomerang. Oh, ooh, oh, oh, oh. Like, that Jojo Siwa is right there sitting, staring at this drag queen's tatas? The silicone that was stuffed into this dude's chest. And she's over there like... She looks like she got hit by a hot shovel. Oh, and we... Oh, oh! And, and we got another one! Another one! What? It occurred to me I should be recording this. Um, this is me, uh, one month on testosterone. Oh, this is God. me two months injecting myself with the T-Virus. The T-Virus? Seriously? Okay, that's that's the thing from Resident Evil that turns people into s zombies. So I think it's, I mean, not funny, just interesting how her mind subconsciously knew that she was dying. Just like with this whole look here, I can tell that she's going for a mix of one of the members of My Chemical Romance and some sort of gothic anime vampire boy. So within less than a year, she is gonna be cognitively impaired and later on down the line, she's not even gonna be able to move. This is me three months of committing tax evasion. This is me four months of running from the government. For oh no! This is me five months of planting trees and no! running out of that start with the letter T. This is me six months This on... is horrifying! Um, of drinking tea. This is me seven months of eternal torment. <laughs> I've yeah, lost count of how torment. many months I've been doing this. First, get a job. Patrick, nah. Patrick Pickle. Yes. Uh -huh. Hi. My name is Tempest. And if you don't <laughs> want me to step on your toes, <laughs> move your. <laughs> it's not enough just to respect the pronouns. No, no, no. You gotta move your feet. Also, just uh, look the other way when she talks to you. I'm gonna tell you something. This screams girl who watched way too many anime boys and learned behavior from them. Because what the <laughs> What the heck? Okay, so in 2022, our twin daughters came to us and told us they didn't feel like the genders they were given were truly them. Yes, because this is totally just not two vegan cats. Like, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these six-year-olds both came up to and were like, You know, mommy, daddy, I don't want to be a girl. I want to be a boy. How did this happen? Did some kid at the playground say that girls were stinky and couldn't come into their playhouse or something? Or did they have a mom that wore a shirt that said, protect trans kids? And then the kids went up to the mom and was like, what's a trans kid? And the mom's all like, well, I'm glad you asked. Now, Molly and Bertha are asking to be Jimmy and Timmy. Our son told us he was transgender, and our child told us they didn't feel like a boy or a girl. Yes! Because these kids definitely knew about this, without you even having to tell them. There's a house built out of stone One floor is walls and window sounds People said we were crazy to listen to them. They are just kids, they don't know who they are. They do! Just a thought, maybe those people were right. Like, maybe they had your kid's best interest in mind. It's been two years today and my children are thriving. They are happy and free to be their true selves. I guess we'll never know what their true selves would have been.
I don't doubt that they have amazing hearts. It's nobody is attacking your kids. The real problem is you. You know, I know we're not here. Oh, that literally just made. Oh, that is disgusting. You know what, what a girl's that? best friend is? The red lipstick. What is that? Oh. Ah. Okay. Next TikTok. I know that you're not gonna like hearing this, but abortion is also a men's issue and a trans issue. We are at the one year anniversary of the Supreme Court overturning Roe v. Wade, and I think folks still don't know that abortion is an intersectional issue. Abortion is a trans- Read between the lines. This issue not just because trans people get abortions, but because trans rights and abortion rights boil down to the same thing, which is government control and what you and I do with our bodies. And as uncomfortable as it may be to hear, abortion is also a men's issue because trans men have abortion, trans masks have abortions, and we need cis men who don't have the capacity for pregnancy to be fighting for abortion rights. Roe v. Wade was overturned a year ago by a Supreme Court majority that, for the most part, does not have the capacity for pregnancy, and we can't have that happen again. Planned Parenthood currently has a petition to expand the Supreme Court and for transparency requirements around the justices. You can sign it at ppfa.org slash reform. Abortion rights activists have long said that people without the capacity for pregnancy, like me, need to be vocal allies in this because we need to be sharing in the labor. And as long as I have this platform, I will be fervently pro-abortion because I am pro a life-saving procedure and pro your right to your bodily autonomy. Our fight is far from over and my place is fighting alongside you for your bodily autonomy and for mine. The sooner we begin working together, the more effective I think we'll- There's just one thing I didn't understand. That's every single effing thing that just came out your Look y'all, they doing it in plain sight. You hear what she said? I say this, a drag queen for every school. That, that is what would be fun for kids and lift them up when they are having emotional issues. I bet when this mom's children are depressed, she takes them to the gay bar. Okay, so you think that showing a man in a dress and wearing a big poofy wig with a big hairy beard is going to cure your kids of depression and anxiety? Is that what I'm hearing? Is that gonna save you from being manically depressive? Is it? Is it gonna cure you of your psychosis? Will it? Will it really? You know, I've seen this idea before when people wanted a taco truck in the corner of every road and you know, now it's not looking good because they're letting every single immigrant that wants to come in, come in across the border. It's not looking good. Yeah. You know, every... Every kid that's kind of down in the dumps and is kind of depressive right now needs to see a man in a wig. You know, everybody needs to see that. Yeah. Friday, October 2nd. Wednesday, December 9th. January 25th, 2021. Yeah. Two days before my breast augmentation. He went from being a salad to being a, a veggie nugget. I mean, he's never going to be real chicken. Wednesday, uh, the day right before my surgery. April 20th, 2022. Today is Monday, August 22nd. Biggest glow down in history. All right, I pledge my heart. I pledge my heart. To the rainbow. To the rainbow. Of the not so typical gay camp. Of the not so typical gay camp. Since when is there a typical gay camp? Yeah. One camp. One camp. Full of pride. Full of pride. Indivisible. Indivisible. With affirmation and equal rights for all. With affirmation and equal rights for all. Watch your heads. So tell me, what the hell all the parents of these children were thinking? Like, what were they on? Were they on crack or something? They, they just... Dis these parents just decided to ship them off to gay camp. Like, son, you're being a little bit too straight there. You're getting a little too close with that girlfriend of yours. We're gonna have to ship you off to gay camp. Show you some tolerance. Oh, uh, 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 is that Devin Stack you're watching? Can't watch that. We're shipping you off to gay camp. Hey, what's that book in your hand? Johnny the Walrus? That is transphobic. We're shipping you off to gay camp. Uh, these kids ought to learn some tolerance. For all. With affirmation and equal rights for all. Watch your heads. Oh my gosh, he waved a round of pride flag. 
trip and no girl. I play with a pearl and I can for her world. She found some deep toes girl. But these bitches. What? Okay, so to give you guys some context, by the way, I am just absolutely disgusted at what I just saw. Um and what I just heard. This is a young girl. She's like 9 or 10. She has this YouTube channel. And basically the whole thing is just her dancing to inappropriate sexual rap. So she's basically a victim of bad parenting. Probably negligent parents. Um, and they might not even know that she has that channel. Don't do my Spice Girls like that. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Away from the kids, please. This young gentleman's giving him a tip. How lovely. Why can't these people keep it in their pants and keep their fetishes away from the kids? Why? Is it really that hard to leave the kids alone? They don't want all of this. Listen, I'm making all the bathrooms at my concerts not only gender neutral, but species neutral. What? I will be providing litter boxes in the bathrooms for all animal identifying concert goers on my tour. Now that's inclusivity in action. Uh, yes, you know, I know that the Therians just would feel so dysphoric if they didn't have a litter box to crap in. You're really, you're really doing us a service. Yeah, how about a little mud hole for the pigkin, too? You know, they might need to go in there to cool off. And if I find out that it's an all-ages bathroom, I will respectfully, compassionately, bash- So imagine you go to the restroom, and now it's a gender-neutral, species-neutral restroom. And you see this guy, probably 50 years old, with cat ears on, and uh, little anime ponytails and a little anime t-shirt with a little skirt. Probably a furry tail, too. And he's using the litter box to take a dump. I think... I think I'd cry. I think I'd go home, cry my eyes out, and then bleach them. I don't understand these people who want to do plastic and say, I want to be natural. What's natural, man? Natural, deixa do jeito que tá, tudo arriado. Garota. Quero que fique com cara de plástico. Eu quero que gritem na rua plastificada. Garota, cala a boca. Ô, oh, mano, você quer se entupir de silicone? Você não vai ficar Barbie, não. Você vai ficar uma garrafa de Coca-Cola. Quando eles te enterrarem, você nem vai ser biodegradável. Você vai acabar nessa ilha de plástico que flutua no oceano. If you get... The people the bottom, sir, uh, when you get your pole... Huh? What? Wait, wait. Um, it's like a gauge. Uh, you need to expand it uh, and stretch it like a muscle. Um, and in order for it to keep acting like a proper muscle, it has to stay active. You, you get what I'm saying? So it has to get used to opening and closing and opening and closing. Um, and if you take spend too much time not teaching it in the early stages, um, it will close and forget how to open. Uh, so if you are years after, uh, it is still recommended that you give a tune-up if you are not utilizing it as often as you would like to. Um, and if you are, know that whatever you're... This is the longest explanation I've ever heard of what's possibly the stupidest thing in the world. You're using inside it will become your new depth uh, in the sense that, let's say you had six inches, and now you're sitting at, f now, and you use something that's four. Um, sooner or later, it's only going to go to four. What? Um, because it will slowly forget. Even, like, it doesn't take, it's not nearly. Gay math, everybody. As quick as in, like, the first year. Um, but it will still happen, and it will sneak up on you. I went from six to about 3.54. 3.5. What are you talking about? Four, not 3.54. I'm not that precise with it. I don't know how Stop you could. Um, but that.
Okay, we get that you have a rot pocket, but would you please stop talking out of it? That's where I'm sitting at. And um, that is because years after my surgery, I just stopped for like months. Um, and it just slowly went, bye bye. Um, so it's not something you have to do like every single day for the rest of your life. Um, but like a car, it needs a tune up. So just make sure you, you know, say hi to her if you want to use her. If you don't, let her close. I don't fucking care, you know what I mean? Um, or, you know, you could just not do that. I promise you, if you put your mind to it and you work hard and you never give up and you do not listen to the rejection, you can achieve anything that life throws your way. Oh my gosh, guys, it's literally a slap in the face to see a man doing woman face as the mascot for International Women's Day. Are you, are you kidding me? Why can't we just have this one thing? His whole caricature of a woman is just a big bimbo pick me stereotype. And you know what, at this point, I'm not even completely blaming him, I'm blaming the people who are propping him up. Oy vey. Because he's doing such stupid stuff, but people are still propping him up. And you know, when you see a crazy person on the street talking to themselves, doing crack or whatever, you leave them alone. You don't promote them. You don't give them a global stage and say, hey, look, she, they outfit of the day. By the way, literally nobody came to that event. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys hated these TikToks but loved my reactions. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Remember, boys, be fruitful and multiply. Don't be fruity and kiss a guy. That's all I got for you today. Bye. These parents just decided to ship them off to gay camp.